And thanks, uh, Davishish. Uh, it's amazing uh, to be here uh, speaking about a talk topic I care so much about, um, which is electrifying transportation. Um, thanks for the uh, introduction. Um, I'm uh, I'm not a baseball player. I'm a competitive swimmer, but don't worry. I'm always driving to win. <laughs> and uh, I think we need to win uh, it, on climate, both in terms of uh, the thing is the thing. And the thing is climate change and, and we will get out of this pandemic uh, and we will still have the climate crisis and we owe it to future generations to win, but also the huge economic opportunity, the innovation, um, the opportunity to have cleaner air, um, but good companies with good jobs, I think is just so incredibly important. Um, I uh, want to start by recognizing I'm on the traditional territory uh, of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe peoples. I'm also in my home. So you may see a child or a dog, you never know what's gonna happen, uh, hopefully not. Um, I also wanna start by welcoming, by wishing everyone happy World Environment Week. Uh, I started the week with green hair, it is no longer green, but I'm still in the spirit of World Environment Week. Um, and uh, a, a huge welcome to everyone who's joining us, but also of course, to the amazing folks that are participating. Um, it's great to see all the innovation um, in this space. It's great, of course, to see Ottawa companies. I'm also the member of parliament for Ottawa Centre, so go Ottawa in the transition, um, but also companies uh, that are operating around the world and of course our US partners. We're very glad that you are there. Um, we're very glad uh, with the Biden uh, administration leadership on climate, I think huge opportunities for Canada and the US to work together. Um, this summit is, is so important because, uh, as I say, like things don't just happen by accident. Um, I, as former Minister of Environment and Climate Change, I was certainly always bringing my climate lens uh, to all of our infrastructure investments. But hard things are hard. And you have to be very smart about how you do things. You have to look at opportunities. And with new technologies like AI, like big data, I think it just provides huge way to rethink how we're doing things to be much more efficient um, and uh, much more effective. Uh, so let's talk about transportation um, in Canada. That's uh, a quarter of our emissions. And so our focus is a government uh, has been electrifying everything generally, but of course, electrifying our transportation system. Um, we have uh, announced historic investments uh, in public transportation, which is obviously part of the solution, uh, including uh, $25 billion uh, since 2015 dedicated to public transit. But we are also in uh, a COVID recession, the greatest recession since the Great Depression, and uh, we need to build back better. And that actually means something. That means making sure that as we invest, every dollar has multiple benefits. Of course, economic growth and jobs has to be top of mind. We've committed to a million jobs, but so is tackling climate change and building resilience. And we need to build more inclusive communities for everyone so that everyone has a chance to succeed as we move to net zero emissions. Um, we have uh, a new $15 billion fund uh, to uh, do quick investments um, in public transit, major projects, but also Canada's first ever zero emission bus fund. We've committed to 5,000 electric buses. I think we need to do way more than that, but 5,000 is pretty ambitious for Canada. And we have amazing Canadian companies in that space. Uh, of course, other companies that are represented here too, uh, uh, to be part of the opportunity, we have Canada's first ever active transportation fund because we need to link uh, active transportation, so cycling paths, walking paths, um, footbridges, so that people can actually get to the public transit. In Ottawa, 80% of Ottawans will live within five kilometers of light rail transit. We got to get them there. Um, we also have our first ever rural transit fund. Um, I tell you this because we're all in and we're looking at all uh, the options that are out there. Uh, we also have uh, the Canada Infrastructure Bank. So later today, I'll be making an announcement um, with the city of Edmonton. They have committed to going uh, zero electric uh, buses. Uh, and, um, and so we are working with them, the federal government, but also the Canada Infrastructure Bank so that we can crowd in the private sector. We need more money, not less in the transition, and we need to think outside the box. Let's talk about, uh, we just announced a budget. Um, 
that includes almost $20 billion towards a green recovery. But to put it into context for American friends, uh, the amount of money that we are investing uh, in a green inclusive recovery is, uh, is on the same level of the US uh, Biden proposed stimulus plan. Um, $250 billion uh, when, you, uh, when you account for our population and uh, for currency, we are already there. So good luck getting your money, but we are already doing this. Not that it's a competition, um, but uh, we, need to, we need to be aiming big uh, as well. And let me talk about Ottawa, because as I say, I'm a proud Ottawan, and uh, it's great that we have uh, Invest Ottawa here, of course, Blue Wave AI being one of our uh, amazing clean tech leading, world leading companies. Um, and uh, Dev, I want to give you guys a shout out, because when I look at what Blue Wave AI is doing, it's a huge opportunity for Canada to punch way above its weight. Um, out of Ottawa, like, I love it that you are using AI for so many different applications. We know that we need to have much more efficient grids as we bring on renewables. We're going to have to be very thoughtful to maximize that. Um, and we've been investing in Blue Wave AI, so keep it going. But of course, using AI to help with the electrification of transport and maximizing how electric fleets are, are used to reduce emissions um, I think that is a huge opportunity. So keep it going. Uh, we love it. Um, but we're also doing a lot of other amazing things. Uh, when I look at Invest Ottawa that's represented today, uh, as well as Area X.O, um, we're really reimagining, one, how we do things in Ottawa, but how we can be a leader in technology that the whole world needs. That's good jobs. That's economic growth. That's tackling climate change. Um, those are all critically important to us. Um, I was quite uh, I was quite chuffed to be able to uh, try one of um, the zero emission shuttles uh, that we're testing. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, very little you can do in a pandemic, but I was <laughs> alone almost in uh, this shuttle. But uh, it just reminded me that the future is here that we need to, we have the opportunity right now, we're making governments around the world are making significant investments to restart our economy and create good jobs, but also to tackle the biggest challenge and opportunity the world faces, which of course uh, is climate change. So you know what, Ottawa is gonna continue to be driving the way. I have set the mark, Ottawa needs to be the greenest capital in the world. We have all the assets um, with the Ottawa River, with lots of natural spaces, with a community that is committed to climate action and protecting the environment and amazing companies leading the way uh, like Blue Wave AI. I'll just leave everyone with this thought. Um, we need to hit zero emissions by 2050. That is not a nice to have, that is a must have. There is a lot of work to be done. It's all hands on deck and we need every solution that is out there um, and some solutions that don't exist. Although we know a lot of the solutions and now we've got to link different opportunities. As I said, AI, big data, to the grid, to the new technologies we're bringing in. So we need you guys to help us drive to net zero emissions and strengthen our economies, creating good jobs and more inclusive, cleaner communities for everyone. So let's do it all together. Um, and I wish you all a really awesome summit.